The Pixel 6 Pro packs in the largest battery cell in Google smartphone history, as well as their very first in-house chipset known as Google Tensor, which is supposedly very efficient. But how does it stack up in a real-life 100-0% battery drain test against its greatest rivals, the iPhone 13 Pro Max and Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra, as well as some of the most unique flagships around, namely the Huawei P50 Pro and Vivo X70 Pro Plus. The Pixel 6 Pro houses a huge 5,003 mAh battery which is significantly larger than the iPhone 13 Pro Max's 4,352 mAh cell, but only slightly bigger than the Galaxy S21 Ultra's even 5,000 mAh capacity. The Huawei P50 Pro has an identical battery size when compared to the iPhone at 4,360 mAh, and the Vivo X70 Pro Plus sits right in the middle of the lot with a 4,500 mAh battery. I've used a Lux Luminous meter to make sure that all phones are sitting at the exact same brightness level, and all phones have been updated to their latest available software updates, that being iOS 15.1.1 on the iPhone, Android 12 on the Pixel 6 Pro, Android 11 on the Galaxy S21 Ultra and Vivo X70 Pro Plus, and Harmony OS 2 on the P50 Pro. But do bear in mind that Huawei's Harmony OS is built on the Android framework. And even though the S21 Ultra shows sole bars at the top, I can assure you that no SIM cards are inserted within any devices. All five devices are kitted with a 120Hz display, whether they be AMOLED or OLED, and all of them are are supported by LTPO technology, whether it being dynamic or adaptive, so that they can fluctuate between 10 and 120 hertz, meaning that they can reach up to 120 on screen frames. But if the app doesn't necessarily need 120, then it will revert to 10 or 60 or anywhere in between for that matter. The Pixel 6 Pro, S21 Ultra, and Vivo X70 Pro Plus are all kitted with a resolution of 1440p, that being WQHD Plus, while the iPhone 13 Pro Max and Huawei P50 Pro sit somewhere in between. QHD and Full HD. Will the Google Pixel 6 Pro prevail or will its rivals come out on top? This is Tech Nick and without further ado, let's find out. Before we get the drain test going, it is worth making sure all phones are currently sitting on 100% and currently plugged in charge, which they are. We will be testing out the temperature gain after each time interval, which we'll get to later on. But for now, the room temperature is sitting at about 23.1 degrees in Celsius with my infrared heat gun over here. Testing out the temperature at the start of the test, they are all currently plugged in charge, so you can't really compare them over here. But so far, the Vivo is the hottest and the iPhone is the coolest. Of course, this will change as we start draining the phones. Clicking the start time on the right hand side, we have the time interval at the top right hand corner of the screen, which is in relation to the percentage above each device below the branding of that device that is directly connected to the time interval at the top right hand corner this is not in real time so whenever we hit a time interval which is what we'll see in a second here reaching the 30 minute mark interval we have 96 percent on the pixel 6 pro 98 percent on the iphone 13 pro max 95 on the samsung 98 on the p50 pro and 97 on the vivo x70 pro plus now if you take a look underneath the battery percentages you can see the interval and peak Interval temperature is the last interval, which is in relation to the time interval at the top right hand corner. So on the 30 minute mark, the iPhone 30 Pro Max hit 47.5 degrees in Celsius. And the peak is the hottest that individual phone got throughout the test, the absolute hottest. So obviously that can fluctuate until we reach the end of the test. After the one hour mark interval, we have 93% on the Pixel 6 Pro, 95% on the iPhone 13 Pro Max, which is leading the pack with the P50 Pro on 95%. Second to so those two is the Vivo X70 Pro Plus with 93%. And then of course the S21 Ultra is dead last behind the Pixel 6 Pro, which is pretty strange. Current app is at the bottom right hand corner. We're currently in Shazam and doing screen recording. And after that, we hit the one hour and 30 minute mark interval, 83% on the Pixel 6 Pro, which is now 1% behind the S21 Ultra at 84%. Those are the two at the bottom over there. Then 88% is in third, 90% is in second with the P50 Pro and first place over here. No surprise, the iPhone 13 Pro Max. And even though it has the smallest battery of the lot over here, you've got to remember that Apple's software and hardware talk to each other so beautifully that their optimization is just amazing in terms of battery efficiency, not to mention the super efficient A15 Bionic chipset. That's not to say these other chipsets aren't efficient. All of them are rocking five nanometer process node tech within them, especially the brand new Google Tensor chip found inside the Google Pixel 6 Pro, which I'm super keen to see 
what it does with battery life in terms of this test that we're running here. Currently in Twitter, as you can see, bottom right hand corner. And if you guys are rusty on specs, at the bottom of each device is a little breakdown for you to gawk your eyes at. After two hours and 30 minutes, we have 73% on the Pixel 6 Pro, which is the lowest and the only one down in that yellow area below 75%. Then 76% on the Vivo X70 Pro Plus and 75% slightly below the Vivo is the S21 Ultra, which is between the Pixel and the Vivo. 79% in second place, the Huawei. And leading the pack still is the iPhone 13 Pro Max with 84%. It was the coolest in the interval and the hottest overall in terms of peak has been the Google Pixel 6 Pro. After three hours and one minute, we have 69% on the Pixel 6 Pro, 81% on the iPhone 13 Pro Max, still leading the pack, 72% on the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra, 75% on the Huawei P50 Pro, and 71% on the Vivo X70 Pro Plus, which is now behind the S21 Ultra, but 2% ahead of the Pixel 6 Pro, which is starting to fall behind by a little bit. Moving on to that three hour and 30 minute mark interval, we have 64% on the Pixel 6 Pro, 78%, which is now 14% Head of the Pixel 6 Pro is the iPhone 13 Pro Max with a much smaller battery at 4,352 milliamps compared to the largest battery of the test being the Pixel 6 Pro at 5,003 milliamps. The Samsung is pretty much neck and neck in terms of battery capacity when compared to the Pixel at 5,000 milliamps, but it's sitting at 67%, so a 3% lead over the Pixel 6 Pro, 69% on the P50 Pro and 68% on the Vivo X70 Pro. We're currently looping a 4K video in VLC, reaching that four hour and three minute mark interval. Strangely enough, I managed to get to the test a bit late this time. 60% on the Pixel 6 Pro, 74% on the iPhone 13 Pro Max, 64% on the S21 Ultra, which is now 10% behind the iPhone 13 Pro Max, and the Pixel is still 14% behind the iPhone 13 Pro Max. It has the smallest battery. What is happening? Google and Samsung, nevertheless, 63% on the Huawei P50 Pro, 64% on the Vivo X70 Pro Plus, which is neck and neck with the S21 Ultra. Now the three on the right are all neck and neck after four hours and 30 minutes of year. 56, 56, 56% on the Samsung, Huawei, and Vivo, with 52% on the Pixel 6 Pro, which is honestly not that far behind those other three devices on the right-hand side. And we have 70% on the iPhone 13 Pro Max, which is just knocking it out of the water over here, which is a full 14% ahead of the three devices on the right and 18% ahead of the Pixel device. We did record selfie video earlier at 1080p and 30fps even though all of them can shoot 1080p at 60 and we just recorded main video at 4k 30fps even though all of them can do 4k 60 but the reason why I've kept it this way is because previous tests that I have done on my channel I did with the 1080p 30fps 4k 30 fps modes enabled when phones didn't have the 4k 60 availability or 1080p 60 selfie availability yet and i did it the same way so that you can compare it to all phones that i've drained on my channel so make sure you check out other drain tests on my channel to compare these phones to remember you cannot compare this exact test to other smartphone channels that have also done battery drain tests because we have different brightness levels and we use different apps so on and so forth so you can compare them to any drain test on my channel but no other channels drain tests of course i have run an hour of benchmarks like i always do and the only reason i do an hour is just to simulate high performance gaming and to see how they do with heat dissipation 20 percent on the pixel 6 pro after six hours 43 on the iphone 21 on the Samsung, 22 on the Huawei, and 10% on the Vivo, which has taken a major knock and got the highest interval over there, 49.5 degrees in Celsius. The hottest peak is still the Huawei P50 Pro with a crazy 62.2 degrees in Celsius in the middle of the benchmark runs. 47.8 degrees in Celsius is the lowest peak, which is still pretty high, that being on the iPhone 13 Pro Max. After six and a half hours, we have 13% on the Pixel 6 Pro, 38% on the iPhone 13 Pro Max still, 16% on the S21 Ultra, 16% on the Huawei P50 Pro, which one is gonna die first between those two, and 6% on the Vivo X70 Pro Plus, which is seriously taken a huge dip and surely should be the one to go out first. But we'll have to see nearing that seven hour mark interval. Looks like we're on 3% on the Vivo, it just popped up on screen there. 4% on the Pixel 6 Pro, 34% on the iPhone 13 Pro Max, 30% ahead of the Google Pixel 6 Pro, which has a larger battery, is ridiculous. 11% on the S21 Ultra, 10% on the P50 Pro, 2% on the Vivo. The Pixel really took a knock after that last game and surprisingly is the first one to die here, even though the Vivo X70 Pro Plus was a full almost 10% behind the Pixel earlier on. That is, that is crazy. Seven hours and 13 minutes. Oh, well, there goes the Vivo. Seven hours and 14 minutes. 
pretty neck and neck, but the Vivo has 503 milliamp hours battery less capacity when compared to the Pixel 6 Pro. And it lasted, well, almost a minute, about 45 seconds longer than that of the Pixel 6 Pro, ending the Pixel in fifth place and the Vivo in fourth place. After seven hours and 30 minutes, we have 29% on the iPhone 13 Pro Max, which is mental considering the S21 Ultra only has 4% and the P50 Pro only has 5%. But this is pretty strange because the Huawei reached over nine hours in my last test and it doesn't look like it's gonna hit that same result this time around. Must have been a software update, which I received, probably two or three of them in the last two weeks. Very strange there. Zero percent on the Samsung after seven hours and 41 minutes, which is still pretty decent, actually better than my last test. We'll get to that at the end of the video. Seven hours and 47 minutes on the Huawei, which is a lot worse than the nine hours and two minutes I got in my last test of the Huawei P50 Pro. Very strange over there, and the iPhone is still going after eight hours sitting on 20%. <laughs> How much longer are we gonna have to do this test for? Okay, well, we currently in Spotify, rerunning some stuff, but you guys have gotta remember that the apps that I go through from now until the end, that since we've done the full loop of apps in the test, the only reason I'm doing it this way is because of phones that I've previously tested on my channel, like I've mentioned before, I do some like 10 minute quick apps in the last 20% and I've always kept them the same. So we're gonna keep them the same this time around for accuracy so that you guys can once again, compare to other devices that have undergone a drain test on my channel over here, reaching that nine hour mark interval on the iPhone 13 Pro Max. Do bear in mind that I've only tested the 13 Pro Max on my channel one time and it got a time of nine hours and 30 minutes. So if it does any better than that, I will be extremely impressed. We're now on 13% after nine hours and it looks like it will outdo its previous test here. Currently recording main video 4K, 30 FPS over here. Now switching to subway servers. As you can see, we're now going between two and three apps within each interval, changing it up a lot before we get to that very end drain. Nine hours, 30 minutes, it has officially passed its previous result of exactly nine hours and 30 minutes. Still on 6% over here, currently in Helix Jump, now in flip diving. Can it reach the 10 hour mark interval? The only phone to have ever done that is the Asus ROG phones. And it does with 3% to spare after 10 hours. I cannot believe my eyes right now. Currently in Twitter, next app of course will have to be Instagram. And let's see how much longer this iPhone 13 Pro Max can last for. And it does it 100 to 0% in 10 hours and 18 minutes, which is absolutely insane. Ending off, no doubt the coolest of the lot at 34.3 degrees in Celsius. And it was actually the coolest phone overall in terms of peak temps, with the hottest peak being the Huawei and the hottest end temp being the Pixel 6 Pro. Fifth place over here, the Google Pixel 6 Pro with the largest battery here of 5,003 milliamps, getting a score of seven hours and 13 minutes. Not too bad, that's still absolutely fantastic battery life, especially for the Vivo over here since it has a smaller battery at 4,500 when compared to the Pixel. Seven hours and 14 minutes is even better in terms of efficiency. Moving on to the S21 Ultra, placing third over here with seven hours and 41 minutes. I have seen it do better, but I have seen it do worse. It's a bit inconsistent, but still pretty great time nonetheless. Second place, the Huawei P50 Pro, slightly better than the S21 Ultra with a much smaller battery at 4,360 milliamps, seven hours and 47 minutes. And of course, first place, Crown King over here, one of the longest lasting phones ever on my channel, definitely the longest lasting iPhone, 10 hours and 18 minutes for the iPhone 13 Pro Max, sitting pretty at the top over there. Now, if you take a look at the bottom of each device, I have put there what all of these results would look like if every single one of these phones had the exact same size cell as the Pixel 6 Pro. Of course, the Pixel 6 Pro would stay in fifth place over here at the exact same time. Fourth place would now be the Samsung with seven hours and 42 minutes because it had a worse milliamp hour per minute reading. Within this test, the Vivo would now bump up into third place with over eight hours. Second place would remain the Huawei, but jump up to almost nine hours, but do bear in mind in my last test, I did hit over nine hours. And the iPhone 13 Pro Max, if Apple were to slap on a 5,003 milliamp hour battery and keep the great optimization it already has, it would almost near the 12 hour mark. And looking at the top of the screen over here, checking out previous tests, the iPhone 13 Pro Max's last test a few weeks ago got nine hours and 30 minutes. The S21 Ultra in my last test did seven hours and 37 minutes. The P50 Pro's previous test was nine hours and two minutes, though I have had numerous software updates in the last few weeks. So that might've affected the score, dropping it by over an hour over here. And I haven't tested the X70 Pro Plus in terms of draining on my channel, but comparing it to its predecessor, the X60 Pro Plus, which you can see at the top, 
top of the screen that had a smaller battery at 4200 milliamps and it only had full hd not qhd also 120 hertz and got six hours and 38 minutes which means that the x70 pro plus has not only beat its predecessor but has done so in style since it has a wqhd plus display so i guess to wrap things off the pixel 6 pros tensor chip and huge new battery isn't exactly the best combination in terms of optimization within google's hardware and software but over six hours is what i would consider good battery life over seven great over eight even better than great anything over nine is out of this world amazing and the iphone just exceeded my expectations of course guys i hope that you enjoyed watching this video as much as i did making it a sub to the channel would be fantastic this is technic and i'll catch you in the next one